Hey guys, Adrian here, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to live stream your video games. And this is a, a way you can take games and, you know, maybe you play some PC games, and there's a lot of other cool things you can do, but mainly I'm talking about PC games. How you can take your video games and live stream them to the internet. So, in today's, you know, internet culture, one of the big things is becoming that of esports. Games like League of Legends, uh, StarCraft, all these other games. People are playing them online, and you can actually watch them. And I know that sounds kind of weird to watch people play video games, but you're watching your favorite players, you're watching your favorite pros, you can learn from them. Uh, you know, when I started playing a game called League of Legends, it was just a really great way to, to follow people and, you know, learn how they play and just get some insight to how, what they do and all that. It's just a really fun method, and, you know, it's the same same thing as watching somebody play a video game, and if you get a kick out of that, then you may enjoy live streaming, um, and you get to add your own kind of bit of commentary to your games and stuff like that. So how do you go about live streaming? So we're going to break it down to a very simple three-step process, and step one is going to be picking your application. So step one, like I said, you're going to pick your application. There's two I've narrowed it down to. I think there's a couple of others out there, but my two that are you know most widely known, there's OBS or Open Broadcaster Software, which is an open project. So if you're into open, if you're into free, uh, open or OBS is a free alternative to another one I'm going to show you here. Um, no cost. It has a lot of plugins. It's being developed more and more by the community. They're adding a lot of stuff in here. Uh, OBS offers basically the same as the, the counterpart XSplit, but XSplit just has a little bit more polish around the edges, a little bit more performance advantage, and it offers a little bit of extra that OBS doesn't quite offer, and that's why it's a paid model. Um, so again, you're going to want to pick your software. Again, there's OBS and there is XSplit. So XSplit is kind of the industry standard as of right now, though it is a paid software. Um, XSplit has a little bit, in my opinion, of a, a neater interface. I'm going to show you this later on, but XSplit has a, ne a neater interface. It has better management for switching scenes. Um, the premium version allows you to help in terms of if you're doing like ad revenue stuff. There's, there's things related to that. So if you want to be uh, making money off of your stream and stuff like that, which is an option, once you start getting more viewers, you can run ads on your stream and profit while you're playing games. So again, it's just one of the benefits that come out of streaming. And it just has a little bit of better support for certain hardware and stuff like that. Um, so XSplit, this is what I use. I pay for the three-month subscription. That's the only problem. It is a subscription fee that you have to look into. So once you choose to buy a license here, for example, it starts at $14.95, but you, uh, it goes up and it varies depending on what exactly you want here. So again, it's up to you. You can choose. I think OBS, in my personal opinion, is a great way to start out. But if you want to, you know, if you have the money and you really want to try out XSplit, I think it's just much more... Uh, easier interface overall. So that's, again, step one. Choose your live streaming application. All right, so step two is going to be using the network or choosing the network and or platform that you're going to want to use to actually stream. So once you have the streaming application, most of these support a ton of uh, streams out there um, or streaming platforms. And one of my favorites, in my opinion, the one I use is twitch.tv. You can find my stream at twitch.tv slash digital dojos. This is a subsidiary of justin.tv. It's solely made for gaming here. Um, and basically, you can see here people are playing games and you can watch them. It's really cool. You can see your top favorite games here. You can see your streamers. Um, again, twitch.tv is one solely made for gaming, uh, though, again, you can use other ones. There's stuff like ustream.tv, uh, livestream.com. There's a whole bunch of ones that you can choose to use. They all have their own kind of set features. Twitch allows you to, uh, in the, to get subscriptions in the future, so you can get subscribers and subscribers. They pay like a subscription fee, like maybe $4 a month, and you can earn profit off of that uh, to support your stream, stuff like that. Uh, they all kind of have their own benefits to using whatever platform. And again, Twitch is mainly centered around gaming, so that's the one I would recommend. All right, last but not least, step number three, you're going to want to set up your live stream, of course. So I'm going to show you here how my basic live stream is set up here on XSplit, just a really bare bones run through here so you can see me here on XSplit. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and remove all these sources and just show you what I go about when I set up my League of Legends broadcast here. So how I stream League of Legends. Now this again on XSplit, this is the paid version. And again, I just like it because it's a little bit of a cleaner interface and it handles a lot of uh, stuff um pretty neatly here and the thing about this you, you don't you can keep in mind that it supports like expert supports uh support for video game capture cards so if you have an xbox hooked up to a capture card which feeds into your pc um then you can you know stream that way now again i want to also define that XSplit and OBS, as far as I'm concerned, are only Windows-based streaming applications. There is some Mac-based streaming applications. Uh, I don't know too many, but I usually just boot camp into Windows to handle my streaming on my Mac here. Um, but again, if you're on the Mac and if you know better ones on the Mac or for OS X, definitely leave those in the description below. 
All right, so on Exploit here, basically you wanna go down to your sources, select the sources you wanna add in. So for example, I like to add in my camera here. So you can add in your camera so your viewers can see you. You can be a webcam, it can be a built-in one to your laptop, whatever you want it to be. And then I'm gonna downscale it here. I like to just adjust that to the bottom right. Then you're gonna to wanna to add your game. In Exploit, basically you wanna click in your game and then once you click in your game, it'll show up here under add game. You just find the game you wanna add. In this case, this is League of Legends here. I have the PVP client open. Um, and then once it's added, you can just resize it. You can adjust it how you want it. Now you can see here, it over masks my webcam. So basically you just wanna adjust it so that the webcam is on top in the sources selection here. Then you can go about and customizing your stream. You can add titles, you can add Skype videos if you're with your other friends. You can add a screen region. So I can add my desktop here, for example. I can just take a screen region of my desktop and I can share my screen and you can see it looks all crazy here, but so I can be sharing my screen on the side here if I really wanted to and you can see my screen there and anytime I move over there, you can see my games are all over here and all that sort of stuff. Um, so you can see all that just right there, simple, easy to use. Um, and that's how easy it is, really, it's it's that simple. I mean, you can go about really customizing it to the way you want it. You can adjust your settings. Xplit has you know support for streaming to a lot of different things besides Twitch. You can adjust all your general settings and stuff like that as far as hardware is concerned and all that. Um, now, last notes to keep in mind, streaming is pretty tasking. Streaming requires one, a decent internet connection because obviously you're streaming out there to the internet. Um, it requires be, uh, pretty decent hardware just because you're gonna be streaming while you're playing. So it's pretty CPU intensive. So some people who tend to lag while they stream, you know, you, you may need to uh, make sure you have, you know, decent hardware as far as CPU, graphics card, RAM, etc. Um, but yeah, you know, you can do, again, a lot of the possibilities are really endless when it comes to streaming. You can also use these applications to locally record for videos like Let's Play videos for YouTube, all that good stuff. So this is my simple step process to live streaming your video games uh, to the internet. Again, the sky's the limit once you get it out there. Hope you guys enjoyed. If this helped you out in any way, please leave a comment below. I plan on bringing a lot more content soon, uh, a lot more video tutorials, stuff like that. So thumbs up, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and of course, check out for more content over at digitaldojos.com.